Great, great. Um, we are hearing that while we are grappling with the situation downstream, upstream isn't any better. Tell us what the story in your constituency is, sir. Well, thank you for be better late than never. The, the flooding really started upstream, and it's not just in Pru East, Sene East, Sene West, Krachi, Chumru, Krachi East, Krachi West, Bole, Bamboy, Bupe, all the communities along the Volta Lake got flooded, and some started as early as end of June to July. Unfortunately, there was no coverage, notwithstanding the efforts we put in. Um, it wasn't seen as serious until the spillage. So the, we, we have two situations. We have the flooding caused by the torrential rains we've had this year, building upon the rains we had last year. So that is the flooding. Then there's the spillage. The spillage is south of the dam. But the flooding, all the way from Asiojemain to Bole Bamboy, you see, there are three voters feeding into the lake. There's the white voter, there's the black voter, and there's the red voter. And then there are the tributaries, Oti and Pru, for example. They all flow into the lake. And for the last three years, we've had relatively very good rainfalls. And so during the rainy season, um, the lake expands its geographical space. The, uh, all the embankments are covered by water. But after the raining season for the last three years, the lake does not go back to the normal. And so it's been gradual over three years. And the flooding is so severe that whole communities are under the lake. Uh, health infrastructure, clinics, schools, etc., have all been flooded. And so there is not just the humanitarian end of it, but there is also the medical end of it, the public health end of it, and then the educational end of it. In my constituency, there are schools that have had to shut down because the schools have been submerged. What that means is that the picture you are painting for us is as bad, if not even more than what we have seen in areas like the North Town District or constituency of the Volta region, which is downstream? Absolutely. And what is as the base the situation is that in Peru, in Oti, Bono East, Savannah, Northern, farmlands have also been flooded. So there is a possibility of a serious food in adequacy, food insecurity going forward next year. Because farmlands have also been flooded and the crops have not survived. What support have your people been getting, if any at all, and where has the support been coming from? So far, the victims, the type of support they have received have been, has been communal. People taking them in, people sharing their food and their accommodation with them. Um, other than a little that I was able to put together, nothing else has come to Pru East. Indeed, we are hearing that the national, uh, the Director General of NADMO will be visiting the Botean Basin as well. Uh, we have received very little from the Ghanaian state. And it creates the impression that we seem not to matter. Is it the uh, case that I, maybe I, people are simply not aware? Well, you see, let me just mention some of the districts. If you take the uh, Bupe, Bupe Kosogo, if you take Pru East, Sene East, Sene West, Krachi East, Krachi West, Krachi Nchumuru, uh, Biakoye, Asujaman, Nadmo has a presence in every single district. So it cannot be that the official dom was not aware. It cannot be. So we begin to wonder, are we part of Ghana? 
And do we matter in the scheme of things? What do you want done for people living in that area? Immediately, what do you think should be done? Immediately, people who need to be resettled are in makeshift accommodation. Immediately, health, public health awareness should be increased. Temporal structures for schools as well as some food. These are the immediate needs of our communities. Very well. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you so much, uh, Doc, for, for sharing this information with us. That's Dr. Kwabna Donko. He's a member of parliament for Pru East, just telling us the 